Finally, Microsoft launched Windows 11 version 2.3 S2 and if it is not showing in your Windows update, let's see how you can download or install it and all the features I'm going to cover in this video. So just follow the full video. Currently, I'm using version 2.2 H2 and I'm going to upgrade. So first go on Google Chrome and type here Windows 11 download. Click on the first link. This is the official Microsoft website and they already mentioned like Windows 11 2023 update version 2.3 H2. So basically, you need to log in with your Microsoft account. Then you will be able to download the ISO. ISO is the best method to upgrade to Windows 11 without losing your data. Select here multi edition and click on download now. Tricky part is here choose the correct language which is already installed in your system. So basically follow this image and type the command. You will get which language installed in your system. Otherwise you will not get key personal files and apps option. Make sure you are following this step. Command will be in description. So just click on 64 bit download. Now we have downloaded this Windows 11 version 23s2 ISO. So just right click and mount it. Right click on this setup and open it and this will basically upgrade to Windows 11 version 23s2 and what all new features are in this you will get all those after installing it. Just select this box and click here next and you will get here this option like ready to install keep personal files and apps. So make sure you are following that step I already showed in image just download the correct language ISO. Now we are upgrading to Windows 11 version 23s2 and this will restart your system several times after that you don't need to do anything just sit tight and let it happen whatever is happening on your screen. Now we have successfully upgraded to Windows 11 version 23s2. Let me show you the version here. Here version is 23s2. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of uh, these features. Currently you can see in recommended section whenever you're hovering on any file, you can see here full details about that file. New copilot is present here. So basically you can ask whatever you want. Like I just asked, create a table that helps me plan meals for the next two weeks. So it will give you a complete table about that. Another feature is volume mixer. You can manage uh, every app volume from here. Another we have new modern file explorer. So you have new home tab in that. In that you have quick access recommended section. We also have gallery option here. So you can see all the images here. And if you click on any file and click on details, you can see the complete detail about that file. And we have new modern address bar and search bar. Another feature they are introducing like never combine taskbar. So just right click on taskbar settings and you can see the settings here. So just set it when taskbar is full. You can see icons on taskbar like this. So this is also cool. You can show seconds on your taskbar. Just check, uncheck. It's a very simple thing. Another thing you can hide the complete date and time from the taskbar. So just turn off this setting. Date and time is just gone. Another thing is like new home settings. So whatever the settings you mostly use that is going to be visible here. So you can access them quickly. New spotlight experience. Just go into personalizations. Go into background. Select here windows spotlight. Show on desktop. Just right click on this image you will see here four images i did not find it very helpful i don't know why it is here if you find it helpful let me know how it is helpful so another thing is new emojis with gradient you will see here beautiful emojis with gradient this looks pretty cool another thing you will get here paint tab with the co-creator so this also have some ai feature so just click on this co-creator you can generate images or remove background many more things you can do so just sign in with your microsoft account you will see option like join wishlist after that you will get that quickly you can choose a style from here like digital art so just select it you can write your prompt here like what kind of things you want to generate create a windows 11 logo you have some points here so how many times you use points will be detected okay so we have generated here ai windows 11 logo here we have option like remove background so just select here it will remove background from here so this is also a great thing so you don't need to go online and we also have layers here so like for Photoshop so you can do basic things here adding layer removing layer merging layer and creating PNG files so paint app is now very very useful another thing is like a snipping tool in a snipping tool you have AI features like detecting the text from any screenshot so take a screenshot from here now click on this icon it is going to detect the complete text and you can copy paste anywhere you can also add it in paint so both apps are very very useful now so just go and show your creativity another thing is like a window 
Windows backup app. So if you are setting up any new PC from one to another PC, you can just backup your folders, app settings and credentials. Whenever you are installing any new Windows in new PC, you will get option to get these kind of settings or backup. We have also very very little changes like uh, related to Copilot, uh, Start Menu, Narrator, File Explorer, Windows Share, Backup and Restore. Many more minimal things are here so I am not going to cover each and every point otherwise it will be a one or two hour video. Just go and install it, you will get security updates, you will get new features and enjoy it.